Hi guys, nothing fancy out in the tactical clinic. It's nightfall here in the desert and we're gonna be testing a couple flashlights. First off, I'm gonna throw out with a Streamlight TL2 Luxion LED light and that's a pretty decent beam. Uh, what we're looking at is a target probably eh, 20 yards away. Uh, it wouldn't behoove me to throw it out any further than that because my camera's not good enough to show the resolution. But look at the beam and it's nice testing these in the desert because there's no ambient light. It's quiet. We can see exactly what the beam's doing and this is a very good test for a tactical beam. And you can see it illuminates the target really nicely actually. The Streamlight TL2 has a very focused beam as you can see here I'm throwing it about 17 yards out on the ground and it is fairly penetrating as well. I'll talk to the specifics in my tabletop review of this model, but now we're going to compare it against the Phoenix P3D light. That's also running on two CL, CL or CR123 um, or batteries. It's been a long day in the desert, so if I flub up my words, you'll understand. So here comes a P3D. Let's check that out. And I want to have it in its maximum turbo mode. Whoa, dude, seriously. That is a serious light. Now, I noticed that the beam on the P3D is more general in purpose. In other words, it's not super uh, intense. Uh, in other words, it's uh, kind of a utility beam. And by that, it just floods and does a very nice job of flooding the area with light. Man, that's nice. I mean, it does a really good job. So here comes again the TL2 for reference. And it's running on the same batteries. And you can see it's a very focused, penetrating beam. I still think the TL2 is a very good light. It is probably not on par with the Phoenix P3D, though. Again, here we go. And it just floods the whole area with light. And there's no weakness in the middle of the beam of the P3D. It does quite well. And when I do it like that, it just looks like the TL2 is like a AA flashlight, doesn't it? I don't know if the camera can catch it in, you know, total accuracy, but it's illuminating that target effectively, but not quite as much as a P3D. Here we go again. Dudical. Seriously. That is a nice light. And the nice thing about the P3D is then we have different modes. While in a turbine mode, if I just tap that rear switch, I can go to a blinding strobe, turn it off. Then I can come, crank my bezel down a little bit, and do different brightness levels as well. So again, there's a very dim, and this is a P3D again, the Phoenix. That's a great utility, battery saving mode right there. That's its lowest mode. Let's go on the target. One more bright, one more bright. And then as I tap to switch one more time, it's going to blink at me telling me that I'm done through the cycles and it'll turn off. And then I can tap again, lowest, mid, and upper mid. And then again, I have to rotate the bezel of the P3D to go into turbo mode. And there's turbo mode. And again, I'll talk to specifics. Turbo mode is going to last about 1.8 ounces hours off two fresh CR123 batteries is what Phoenix tells us. This would be a great weapons light. Uh, I'm not so sure about the shock absor absorption capability of the P3D. Uh, I may have to test that uh, some year. Don't know when. But in summary, it pretty much blows away the Streamlight TL2. And actually, let's bring in another player here. I'm going to throw in a this light right here, which is a E2D stream, uh, I'm sorry, Surefire Executive Defender Light. See how that does. Actually, not too bad. It's an incandescent bulb. It's not LED, and it looks really yellow um, compared to the LEDs, and it throws a nice beam. It's not too bad. But let's go ahead and throw that up against the P3D Phoenix and see how it does. And I show it on the ground so you can see the beam dispersion. And then here we go on the target. Okay, so that is the Surefire E2D Executive Defender. Great light. I love the, 
the bezel on that light, how it's a crenellated bezel for strike capability. A lot of lights are coming out with that though. The E2D just kind of pioneered it. What they need to do, Surefire needs to come out with, and they might have it, I haven't checked, a LED module um, with um, Luxion or Cree LEDs for the E2D. Okay, here's a P3D again. Wow, that's just amazing. Now, it's not a weapons light in the fact that it's not a super focused beam. So as we come out here, now we're looking at a tree about 100 yards away. You can see it kind of washes out a little bit there. Let's compare that against the E2D. The E2D has a little bit more of a focused beam. Incandescent variety, of course. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, that P3D rocks. And you know what? You're absolutely right. It is an amazing light. I love it. And it's affordable. I'll talk about that on the tabletop review. Amazing. So that's just playing around with the P3D versus the E2D Defender and also a TL2 LED Streamlight here in the middle of uh, Nut and Fancy's Tactical Clinic in the high desert in the western U.S. Let me do another one here in a bit.